Hello, I am a hot mess nest, MUA, otherwise known as Vanessa. And today, you might be wondering, why do you have some makeup on, no eyeshadow, looking a little, you know, plain? Today's video is a live swatch video of this beauty. What does live swatching mean? It means I'm going to be putting the eyeshadows on my eyelids so you can see the color payoff. Now, I am not the originator of this idea. This idea was done by another YouTuber. I'm going to leave her handle down below. That girl Shay XO does this with a lot of her ColourPop collections. And the very first time I saw her do it, I was like, that is genius. I did do this for one other video in the past. It was for the Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadows. Um, it was holiday last year. So I'm gonna be using the same kind of brushes that like Stephanie Nicole uses to swatch with and uh, I'm going to remove the shadows with my micellar water, and then I'm gonna reset the lids with just a little bit of leftover product from my beauty blender and some translucent powder. I actually asked Shay how she did hers because I'm like, do I go in with primer? Do I do all that? So the reason I think this is such a good idea is because we all want swatches. Now we can be told all day long that a swatch means nothing because if it doesn't blend, it doesn't do this, it doesn't do that but still the consumer wants to see the color payoff. So it's a double-edged sword. So what's a better way to have the actual swatches on the lids? So I'm going to do swatches on the lids and then I will give you some arm swatch pictures. And then later on down the road in a separate video, we'll do some tutorials because there is so much magic in this palette. I'm sure you guys have all seen the big reveal. It is the Saint and Sinner palette. This side is the saint, this side is the center. So you could really play just by going in on this side. Uh, this side I think is a little less cohesive, but when you look at it that way, it makes a little bit more sense. You can do any of these like crease shades and then any of these on the lids. Same thing with this side, you could go in for a very neutral look. And then, you know, if you wanna get really creative, you, you just dive into both and I am inspired by this kind of palette. If you watch Kat Von D's whole expose of this palette, she said she wanted to like challenge people, for them to look into a palette, and I do feel like this is a challenge as far as like, oh crap, what do I create? But at the same time, this excites me, and there's so many neutral palettes and whatnot that I like to see something that excites me and that's why I was all on board for this palette. So, if you wanna see these live swatches, just keep on watching. Okay, we're gonna start with this first shade, Absolution. Now this is a pressed glitter shade, so I expect that this won't be crazy. It'll be just one of those shades that you can use on top of other shades. And that is Absolution. Now we're gonna take Rapture, the other press glitter on this side. Rapture. The next shade is Worship. And this is the shade Rapture. Next, we're gonna take the shade Immaculate, right here. Immaculate. The next shade on the Saint side is Chalice. And this is Chalice. Up next is Sacred Heart. It's a matte shade. Sacred Heart. Now I don't know if this shade's gonna pick up very well because it is a bone shade, but this one is Amen. Wow nicely pigmented. Amen. The next 
shade is Sanctuary. It is a satin. And that is Sanctuary. So the next shade in the palette is Heaven. And this shade just kind of calls to me anyway. Um, the swatches that I've seen, everybody's all about heaven. Well, I think this one, foiled, would be insane. It's the shade Heaven. This is Crucifix. It looks to be a standard deep brown, but we will see in the swatch, won't we? don't get as excited about mattes as I do but it's pigmented enough that you could build up it's the kind of thing that you'd want to use in your crease and be able to blend it down so you could have a seamless blend and I think it achieved that the next shade in the palette is cathedral this is a neat shade because although it's metallic it has lots of flecks of glitter and a lot of times you can't translate both and i am really liking this shade you definitely have to kick off your brush i do have a little bit of fallout but very cool next up is another sheen looking shade it is called rosary And this is the shade Rosary. The next shade in the palette is Baptism. It looks like it's a pinkier in tone than Amen. Now someone could argue, why would you need this and this? Now, mind you, you might not if your average daily consumer that's not gonna put a lot of thought into your shadows, but this is gonna be a better shade to blend out your purples, or if you're going for a cooler tone look, and then this would be a better one for a warm tone. So I could understand the process of why they included this shade, and I actually really do like it. Now the next, shade in the palette is ashes it looks to be a matte shade with glitter so i'm going to try using this brush to apply it so that way i can still pick up some of the glitter i'm seeing ever so slight bits of the glitter if i pat on the shadow Kat herself said that she created this one for um, just a little more depth and dimension. I mean, you have to be really close in order to catch it, but this one is Ashes. I really would have liked to do this one last because I think it's going to be a mess to clean up, but this one is Sabbath. Sabbath it definitely has a lot of pigmentation can be built up I mean you want your black to be black so it's not patchy but you want to be able to blend it too so this one is Sabbath next is Martyr This one can definitely be built up for swatch and martyr. The next shade in the palette is Devil, right here. I really like this orange shade because it can be built up. It's pretty pigmented on its own, but you can definitely Keep it going or make it more muted. And this shade right here is Devil. 
The next shade is what appears to be another matte with the glitter and it's called Revelation. As you blend, you, you lose the glitter. I'm trying to see if I can pack it on and maintain the glitter. If you really want to keep that glitter into the base, you just pack it on with your finger and it works nicely. This is Revelation. I'm going to jump into the shade Exodus. It's this matte green. Wow, I like this shade. It is so pretty. This is Exodus. Now for the stuff that gets everybody else excited. Probably this bottom row. <laughs> this one is Ministry. It is a deep blue. And this shade is Ministry. Okay, this shade is Vestment. like the MAC Club, I think it's called, or the, the blue-brown pigment kind of shade. So this is the shade Vestment. The next shade is Stigmata. So this is the the shade Stigmata. And we are down to the final two. So we are going to do Exorcism. So this is the shade Exorcism. And the last one to be swatched is Relic, right here. This one took like no effort. <laughs> this is Relic. So my final thoughts on this first impression live swatch of the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette is it's really special. Now if you already have every Urban Decay Vice palette and you already have every metal shade and every this and every that then you probably have all these sprinkled somewhere along your collection. But sometimes it's nice to have it all inclusive in one area. Number two, you're not going to have packaging like this. This packaging is incredible. If you don't care about packaging, then you move on to the Z palettes. And I, I love my single eyeshadows, you guys know that. But there's just something so inspiring and special about this that I wanna play with makeup. I wanna get down, I wanna create 15 looks and put them all on my channel, which I won't do because not everybody's gonna have this palette. But it's definitely a yes for me uh, so far with just the first impressions. I will be creating some looks to see, but just on how effortlessly it blended onto the lids and the swatches, and it's just, it's so beautiful, guys. I mean, look at the detail. When you're putting your money into your makeup, it should feel special. And I feel like sometimes we get these things and it's just, I need, I need, I need, I want this because it's pretty packaging or I want this because it's an eyeshadow I've never seen before. And this kind of has a little bit of everything. I don't feel like all of the shades that are metal in tone are quite like her metal matte formula. I could be wrong, but the metal matte is like so dimethicone based and I felt like this was the only one that kind of felt like that. I feel like that these are a little different. So if you already have the metal matte palette, I feel like this is something different. If you have the Mi Vita Loca palette, I still feel like that this is different. It's deeper and a little grungier and I like that. It's just a really interesting find and it, it literally is making me happy talking about it. Like I feel like I'm glowing. Like this is my love child. And that's weird, because it's eyeshadow. But it's making me feel some kind of way. 
and I just wanted to let you guys know that. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of interesting different way to show you guys swatches. I mean, you can go to the Instagram page. You don't need to see my arm swatches. Um, but I thought that the eye swatch kind of thing was so cool. Again, I give 100% credit to that girl Shay XO. I'm gonna leave her down below because she inspired me to do this last year and I haven't done it again because it is a pain. And a palette like this, I felt like it deserves it. It's super cool. So if you have any questions about any particular shades, leave it in the comments down below. Uh, I might add in that these two glitter shades to me there, mm, I'd rather put on glitter if you're gonna have to use a glitter glue anyway. And I feel like those kind of things, I mean, they're interesting and you know, they add that extra so you wouldn't have to go get glitter. So this still could be an all-inclusive palette. I feel like if you're a neutral girl and this kind of thing scares you, if you had something like the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, I don't own that. I wanna own it. <laughs> You could take that and this and go somewhere. And I know people are like, oh, it's so big, but this this is definitely not the Mibita Loca palette. I mean, that thing was big. It's still condensed enough and it's luxurious and you can put it on your vanity or you can hold it at night. You can tell it your dreams, how you wanna be a YouTuber full time and it might open up and tell you it will happen. It might not. It could be anything you want it to be. But again, as a makeup enthusiast, when I get new makeup, I wanna feel a certain way. And I feel like I haven't, with the exception of some of my indie brands lately. And so you keep buying, you keep buying so you can feel that way. And I feel like if this was the only holiday thing that I got this year, I'd be okay. I know, mind blown. Don't count that against Davina Cosmetics, guys, because I need Volume 3 Dirty Beautiful. I need Lux the Beauty's pigments, and I need the rest of Feather River Body. So don't count that in the little jumble, but I'm talking the major brands sold at Sephora, Ulta. They have things that just come out. It's like vomiting all over you, and it's this overload. If this was the only thing I got this year, I'd be okay. That was my diarrhea first impression. I know, so lovely. Uh, if you'd like to see some tutorials with this palette or any other things, if you have questions, leave them in the comments down below and we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. I am holding big giveaways. I will leave them down below. There's one on Instagram. There's a mini little lipstick one in my Jeffree Star one. And then I have a big, huge Jeffree Star Summer Chrome. So, Check those out, okay? Win some stuff. Subscribe to my channel and win some stuff. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.